My name is Patrick Shivers. I'm a fourth generation farmer, and this is my John Deere right to repair story and a little bit about the tool that farmers can use to finally fight back. I currently grow about 14 or 15 crops per year. Uh, right here, I got three types of lettuce, three types of onions, rainbow carrots, new potatoes, got pecans right here over the hill, got wheat growing just off in the distance right there. I grow peas, uh, maybe four varieties of peas. I do butter beans, two types of green beans. I grow pumpkins. I grow corn, peanuts, grain sorghum, soybeans. A lot, a lot of variety, a lot of different things. We're currently putting up a greenhouse next to my farm store. We're going to add a few new crops to the rotation this year. I also run Brangus cattle. Uh, I breed some years like this year with a Hereford bull to make baldy calves and some years I cross back with a Brangus bull or an ultra black bull. I believe diversity is the key to succeeding. When you put all your eggs in one basket it makes the, the chance of failure a lot higher. My great grandfather bought the first John Deere tractor on the farm back in the 1950s and we've been running green ever since. My dad and my brother-in-law were on that plan where you would swap your tractors every year. And uh, about 10 years ago when they were doing that and I was working for them, one morning during planting season, all everybody's out running. We're trying to get land ready. Everybody going in different directions. I think I was on a maybe an 80... Eight, I don't know, 8335R, something like that. I was, on, I was on a big 300 horsepower tractor, had a 12 row strip till behind me, and I was heading to one county to lay off rows, and another guy was heading another direction, run a field cultivator, and everybody was all scattered about. Next thing you know, my tractor goes into limp mode. I'm traveling down the road, tractor puts itself in limp mode, and if you don't know, uh, at limp mode, the motor slows to an idle. So if you were on a steep grade hill, you would not be able to make it to the top. You would, you would be essentially stopped in your tracks when it hit, hit limp mode. I had just climbed a steep hill and had leveled out, maybe gone 100 yards, tractor flips into limp mode. I get over to the shoulder of the road, I put the tractor in park, I look at the code to see, see what the problem is. The computer there on the, on the uh, arm rail said the tractor needed to do a forced regen which isn't a problem normally. We have the, the tractor set to do automatic regen, so they would regen whenever they need to. But you can go into a computer and force a regen. So I just went into the computer there and so, where you would normally select force regen, that area was grayed out where you couldn't select it. So it wasn't an option to do the force regen but the tractor said it would not move until you did a force regen. And once I had put it in park, it would no longer come out of park. It was stuck where it was at, at idle, and could not be moved. I called my father. I said, hey, Dad, I'm on the side of the road. This is where I'm at. Tractor's in limp mode. It won't do nothing, and it won't let me do a regen. He said, Greg just called me. His tractor's doing the same thing. In a period of less than 30 minutes, all of the new tractors, the tractors that we swap in every year, all of them locked themselves in park, in limp mode, and required a forced regen that they would not allow us to do. So we called the local John Deere place and they sent a tech out to the farm. He came to each of the tractors. I think there was three tractors that morning that he had to service and a $500 service fee for each tractor. Uh, even though two of them were, were really close to each other. And they're all under warranty because they're all uh, new trade-in tractors that were getting swapped every year. So repair work is covered, but service fees aren't covered. So it's a $500 service fee on three tractors, $1,500. All I did was plug a computer into the computer on the armrest, hit force regen, done. I like my local parts guys at Deer. They are great. They're good at what they do. They can find you the part if you know what you need or, and they can look it up for you also if you don't know what you need. But I think corporate Deer has gone way too far. They've cost the farmers way too much money. And then this, this $500 service fee just to, just to crank up the service truck is slam ridiculous. 
and that's why I'm glad to endorse this new product by Ansel. I get asked to endorse products pretty frequently and the majority of them I decline because I'm not really a, a product reviewer and I'm certainly not going to ask anyone to buy a product that I'm not willing to spend my own money on. But when this company came to me and showed me what they had, I was all too ready to jump on board. So this scanner will plug into my tractor. And when my tractor throws a code that locks it in park in the center of the field, I no longer have to call John Deere for less than the charge, for less than the service charge that they charge me to come out here just to find out what it is. I can buy this machine and I can always know what the problem is without calling John Deere. You see in the box here, they have a variety of hookups for multiple applications. So it'll go on most tractors, most 18 wheelers, most heavy uh, commercial uh, construction equipment. We have everything we need to plug in to whatever you're running. I just get the correct cord for my application. I plug it in. The monitor's already lighting up because it's hooked to the tractor. I'm gonna put the key in the on position. Once I got the machine up and running, I select what I want. This is John Deere. I'm going to go to diagnostics mode. Search models. Eighty five thirty. Confirm. Model 8530, make John Deere tractor subcategory, two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, yes. <laughs> Connect. So here we have a large selection of different things we can click on to check out. I actually want to see the uh, hitch control because I've had some lift issues. Read ECU information. You see here, I can even check the hydraulic oil temperature. I can check every reading that has to do anything with the hydraulic system. You have all sorts of data. You can see what's malfunctioning, what is actually functioning properly. We got the voltage readout on the uh, rear uh, draft sensor. All sorts of information. You can even use this machine to do forced regens and not just on John Deere's, on, on a lot of varieties of 18 wheelers and construction equipment and tractors. So you don't have to pay that service fee. You don't have to spend that money. You can spend it one time buying this machine and you're good for years to come. I think that's a wise investment and that's why I've brought it to you today. These people asked me to promote it and I think it's a great investment for the farm. It will save you time because you're not waiting on John Deere to come and it will save you money because you can do your own diagnostics. I am going to include a link to this product in the description as well as a promo code so you can get a discount. I thank all y'all for watching. I hope to see you next time.